welcome to this week's Total Pickleball Vlog. My name is Mark and I have here today five important items I wanted to go over. Beginning with the ball, obviously the pickleball counts. We have here the Selkirk Pro S1 Pickleball. This is brand new. Not only this ball kind of designed and constructed to keep its shape, maintain it over a longer period of time, it also features a one year warranty against any kind of breakage or crackage. We've been testing this ball out for a couple months now, really enjoy it. It's got a kind of a different diameter of the 38 drill hole count on it. It flies and pierces through the air uh, fairly, fairly well. I would say even in semi-windy conditions, this ball is a pretty true bouncer and flyer. Really enjoying this one. We haven't been able to break one yet. I'll be accurate about that. Uh, whether or not it maintains shape as long as a year, well, you know, time will tell. Next up, obviously, we gotta talk about Anna Lee Waters. This is her new update to the older Paddletech Bantam. This is the ALW 14.3, also available in a thinner 12.7 millimeter core. Uh, this paddle, obviously versatile enough for the uh, world's number one player in all three disciplines. This one's running at about 7.5 to 7.8 ounces. Biggest difference between this is a raw carbon uh, fiber surface, very spin friendly. And again, spin friendly surfaces aren't critical for my enjoyment of pickleball, but it is critical for my competitive success. This one is very easy to swing, featuring a compact shape, just under 16 inches. Huge sweet spot, very versatile all court paddle. And obviously if we're beginning with ALW, Anna Lee Waters, we gotta go with the Ben Johns. This one here is the Ben Johns Hyperion C2 16 millimeter. This one is also available in a slightly thinner 14 millimeter core. And unlike Anna Lee Waters paddle, which is a compact paddle shape, the C2 Hyperion is utilizing the elongated shape, which I love for extra reach and leverage base power. This one, the 16 millimeters running about eight ounces. Uh, the 14 millimeters coming in a little bit lighter at about maybe 7.8 ounces. Both of these, again, are combining the best qualities, the original Hyperion and the current Perseus lines. You can see the arrow curved head here. We've got retained is the CFS uh, surface technology from the Hyperion combined or layered with the charged carbon surface, definitely improving kind of the precision, durability and spin potential of these paddles. As always, I like a thermal form fully encased carbon paddle. That's what you've got here, which is unlike the older Hyperions. So you're getting better stability, energy return, and I would also say vibration control out of the whole package. Again, I wanted to mention there is a slightly different colorway on the 14 millimeter, same paddle, featuring the same technologies borrowed from both the Perseus and Hyperion lines. These are very good all court paddles, very spin friendly. And last, but certainly not least, uh, we got to take a look at the Simone Jardine Signature uh, Hyperion C2 as well. Uh, the one I have here in my hand is a 16 millimeter example. And like Ben John's version, this is also available in a thinner 14 millimeter core. Uh, same, again, technologies. The biggest difference here would be a slightly different grip diameter. And that's all we have for you here today at this week's Total Pickleball Vlog. Thanks for tuning in. And if you'd like to learn anything more about these paddles, the Pro S1 Ball, or anything else pickleball related, be sure to visit TotalPickleball.com.